So I've come full circle now. That's very interesting to me. So yeah, you can kind of see the shape of the map island here. Over there. So, I should be looking at... Yeah, I think I've got the map correct, actually. Then on the other side of the village, on the far side over there, beyond it, is a little tiny one-square island that I cannot see. My query, then, becomes... The rest of these trams. Because... How many of them can you do this trick where you spin it around and get out the other side? Not that one, obviously. Nope. And this one you can. Oh, but I don't want to. I want to go back. Okay. Let's go. Back through the Golden Dome, and I still can't get up there anyhow. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Idea! What do we have going here? Oh, okay, so... Little things are coming in from the various islands. I mean, that makes sense, but I don't know what I can do with that knowledge just yet. I will check out the rest of these trams, though. I always close this freaking door clicking through here. I know there's not going to be anything on the other side of this. But I will check anyway, just to be sure. No. And this is... Here. No, there's no getting out of there. So... I still don't know what animal this is supposed to be, what sound this is supposed to be making. Not sure. Really not sure. But, let's head back down to the lagoon real quick. Hey, it's, uh, Ernest and Jethro. How you guys doing? Allison, I hope you don't feel bad that I just go ahead and skip past your, uh, little scene there. Oh, sounding the alarms again. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Hey, this thing drained out. I didn't know it could do that. Well, let's fill it back up. I can't have it drained out like that. Yeah, that's no good. And I'm still missing my submarine. Um... Because, yeah, I was totally thinking that when it was in that little base, I was looking out this viewfinder, and it was looking around the sides, and I was trying to see what it was actually looking at. Kind of hard to tell, though. And pretty annoying that I can't get back into my submarine. Through the caves here. So yeah, so I guess it would just see a lot of walls. And walls and walls. And then... 
What was I seeing that looked like a fish? Okay, there's the... I remember this jagged, like, bridge shadow here. Okay. So the thing I was seeing that looked like a fish... Which wall would that have been on? Large shadow of some kind. I don't know. But yeah, that has to be what I was doing, was sitting inside this and viewing it remotely. And damn it, there's my submarine over there that I can't do anything with now. Get a better view from up top. If I can get up top, there we go. Hmm. I would love to go back down there and get back in my submarine. That would be just fine and dandy. I don't know how to call it back, though. It's like you think a pulling a rope or something would do it, but... I really hope I don't need that submarine for anything else. That would really suck. No. Nothing. Nothing, guys. Really. Really, really. Oh, you know what? I might try, though. And I have no idea if this will actually work, but... It's worth the old college try. Oh, the submarine's back up there. Wait a minute, how'd that happen? It, if, I guess they sent it back up here for me. Okay, well thanks for that, I guess. Alright. So I'm about 80% confident that that viewport finder on the map island was looking here in the village. So the last thing I'm going to do in this session, I think, is run back there real quick and, uh, I already, already forgot which route it, I need to go to get there, but I guess it doesn't matter because all the routes pretty much lead everywhere at this point. So I'll just take this one just because I happen to be standing right there. Up and in and this way and this way oh I need to call the tram up I think that's up in the house too so that'll be easy enough to do yeah it's over here Good old thud button. Get into the tram. And that takes me over to the map island. Yes, yes? Yes, yes. Ah, oh, this is the wrong way. I need to actually spin the tram around. And get out of it. No elevator. This, el this lead will call the elevator down. I guess what the game is doing is it only loads the area you're currently in. Because remember, this game originally came out on like five CDs. And you had to switch CDs a lot. So maybe that's what's happening. Whoa. This doesn't look like my elevator. I guess it must be, though. It's a glorious golden elevator. 
I guess the in-world reason for that might be that someone else is running around the island doing stuff. Like, Gen is probably doing whatever he does. So let's hop back in the viewfinder here. Oh, wrong button. Get rid of that. All right. Yeah, because I think I can like make out the outline of one of the little huts. And there's one of the catwalks. And right underneath the jagged bridge shadow is this giant fish. And then I'm looking at the little star platform. Giant fish, once again. What's Homegirl up to? Just wandering around. Yeah, okay. Like, it'd be more exciting if she got up and, like, threw stuff at the camera that's watching her, but... Can I back out of this chair now? I'm, I'm, I can be done here. Oh, I gotta push the button. That's right. In Riven, you have to push a button to get out of a chair. <sighs> Running around takes a lot of time in this game. That's assuming you don't get lost. And you know what? I can't take the minecart back anyway, because the minecart is a one-way trip. How awesome. How awesome that I got lost again in Riven. It's amazing that's what it is. Um... Yeah. So, I don't think there's anything for it. I think my next trick is I've got to read those books. And I'm not going to, like, put them in the middle of the series. I have, like, a little side series where if you want to read the book and follow the material, you'll have it. But otherwise, I'll just summarize it when I come back in the next video. So you have to look that, look, uh, you have that to look forward to. That was a hard sentence. That took me, like, three tries.